Hello again, this is a quick video on the Amana NTW4516FW washing machine. Uh, if you're looking for the cheapest new washer that you can buy, I'm going to go on and tell you this is probably going to be it. But full disclosure, if you are wanting a machine that's going to last you for a long time and make your life a lot easier, this is probably not it. Uh, it's kind of this it's an entry level washing machine. I mean, it may be good for a good starter washer or a single person in an apartment or, you know, something like that. But if you got a big family, I, I don't recommend this one. Uh, so this is made by Mana, which is a Whirlpool owned company. Uh, according to Mana, it is designed, engineered, and assembled in the USA. Uh, it does carry a one-year limited warranty, meaning that they will cover all parts and labor for one year. Uh, limited meaning they won't cover everything that could happen to it, uh, one of those being like power surge, stuff like that. All right, so let's go inside. All right. Of course, they're going to give you your, your freebies, some Tide Pods, things like that. They give you your drain hose. Now, this does actually have a dual action agitator, which is a good feature. I do like that in this machine. So it turns one way and doesn't turn the other, locks that way. So it will circulate your clothes up and down. Top of the load will be circulated down to the bottom so it can be you know, aggressively washed by this agitator. Uh, it does not have a stainless steel tub, as you can see. That is a porcelain coated tub. It's, it's not a bad feature, but you know it's not as durable as a stainless steel tub would be. It's hard to tell in this video probably, but that is a small tub. That's 3.5 cubic feet. So again, like I said, if you have a big family, this is not going to be the machine for you. Or if you're constantly washing clothes already and you don't have a really, really small washer right now, I don't recommend this one. You're going to be washing constantly. It won't take much. It will not fit a comforter, etc., etc. Uh, does have a bleach dispenser here. No fabric softener dispenser. No detergent dispenser, so you just have to throw your detergent down in the bottom. Not bad again, but you know, that's old school ways and with these high efficiency machines and low water, that's maybe not the best way to add your detergent to your uh, wash. All right, so go up to the control panel here. Not a lot to see. I mean, you see these knobs no no electronic buttons again i don't want you to be fooled into thinking that these are old school mechanical knobs these are what they call rotary electric so they are still connected to an electronic motherboard back behind this panel here just as susceptible to going out as anything um you when it comes to uh your cycles okay so see here you've got eight wash cycles you do have a deep water wash and I'll show you that here in a little while but you've got your normal cycles heavy regular you got your casuals you got a delicate cycle which is good I mean that'll that'll take the aggressiveness on the agitation down just a little so it doesn't tear up your delicates and you do have this bulky items and sheets again I, I don't recommend this for a big bulky load it's just not it's not gonna really do what you want it to do uh, you have two water level selections over here you've got auto sensing and you got deep water wash, and we'll talk about the extra rinse stuff here in a minute. But that auto sensing is that's that's what makes this high efficiency. It's going to weigh the clothing that you have in there as it adds water. It's gonna it's gonna add the water it thinks you need. Most machines are engineered to do that pretty well, uh, so don't let that scare you off. But that's just the way it is. You do have the deep water wash also. Now, again, don't be fooled. Deep water wash does not mean you are going to get a tub full of water. What that means is whatever this machine senses the load size is and would normally put that amount of water in, deep water wash is just going to bump it up one load size. So say you, you have a small load in there, you know, a few towels or a few t-shirts or whatever, and it senses it, it is a small load and puts a small amount of water. If you have deep water wash, it's just going to take it up to a medium load. That's pretty much how that works. Um, you've got the uh, extra rinse, which is it's a feature. You know, if you do the auto sensing plus extra rinse, that's good for things like sensitive skin. You know, get a, maybe make sure you get a little bit more of that detergent out of your clothing because, like it or not, any washing machine is going to leave detergent in your clothes once you, once they're done cleaning. You can take your clothes out of there, out of the dryer, put them back in a bowl of water, and swash them around for a little while, and you'll you'll notice that. Uh, it does have five wash temperatures 
tap cold, cold, cool, warm, hot. And in all my videos, I go over what that tap cold means. Uh, cold, cold is what is good for you know certain cycles. Tap cold is coming straight out of your pipes. If you live in a very cold climate, that water coming out of your pipes is going to be very cold and maybe not optimal for your wash cycle. So I would choose cold if you're in a very cold climate instead of tap cold. Uh, tap cold if you're in, you know, say the southern part of the U.S. or in a, in a temperate climate, then it, it tap cold should be fine, and that'll save you a little money on electricity that way as well. Uh, again, not many options on this machine, just the extra rent cycle. That's basically it. I mean, you, you don't get a lot for the money, but it, eh, you're not paying a lot of money. Uh, it does have a late lid lock feature, which means that this lid will not... Will not lock closed here until it goes into that spin cycle so say you're washing clothes and you forgot a couple of socks you can come in here and add those as long as the spin cycle hasn't started yet this machine has a quarter horsepower motor so it's again not very strong if you put something big and bulky in there you're it's, it's gonna probably tear it up that's why these machines don't last a long time people just don't get that and they put more in than they should it does have a decent spin speed, 700 RPM, so it will sling a lot of water out of the clothing and save you a little time on your washer and dryer. I mean, on your drying, excuse me. Uh, but, again, very basic machine, very basic price. Uh, the dimensions, this is 43 inches high. With the lid open 90 degrees, you're going to need 51 inches of clearance. Uh, the depth front to back is 27 inches and the width side to side is 27 and a half inches last thing we'll do is go over this energy guide real quickly so you're using around 19 bucks a year of energy when you're using an electric water heater and around 11 bucks a year if you have a gas water heater and that's basically it a uh, real basic machine american made good starter machine thanks for watching